Fatherhood is a title. Every male adult who brings a child into the world automatically qualifies to be called a father, at least in the biological sense. Being called a father in this sense is merely a biological function. But in addition to being a title, fatherhood is also an office. Unlike in the former sense, Fatherhood in this sense, basically and fundamentally, has to do with performing the responsibilities, functions, duties, tasks, and obligations that are associated with being a father. A man can bear the title, father, while he does not occupy the office of fatherhood. In other words, a man can bring a child into the world, and consequently, be called a father while he has no business with any responsibility that is associated with being a father. When a man bears the title father because he has a biological child, but he does not occupy the office of fatherhood by performing the duties of a father, he becomes a mere sperm donor. Such is a very irresponsible way of living though some men live this way. Men who live this way are disgraced to fatherhood. It is worthy of note that a man can occupy the office of fatherhood in the life of a child that is genetically a stranger to him. In other words, a man can play the role of a father in the life of a child that is not biologically his. It is very interesting to note that there are men like this, and they are models of fatherhood. Such men qualify to be called fathers even if they have no biological children. It is also very instructive to note that this analysis also applies to motherhood because it is also a title and an office. When a man deliberately abdicates all the responsibilities of fatherhood, the future of the child may be endangered, except someone steps in to rescue the situation. A child that was starved of love and attention by his biological father may not have regards for the father when he grows up. As a matter of fact, in a situation the future of the child is destroyed because no one came to the rescue, he may balance the damages the father did to his life and destiny by damaging or destroying the life of the father. This was the experience of a teenager who was paraded at a state police command headquarters for the mother of his biological father. The teenager confessed that he killed his father because he considered his life as an abomination after the man denied being responsible for her mother's pregnancy when he impregnated her and consequently abandoned both of them since then. The teenager father confessed that a man like his father, who was a woeful disgrace to fatherhood, was unworthy of being alive. Though the case is being investigated by the police as at the time of filing this report, the case will hopefully be charged to court in a matter of days. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, you should click the link below to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you like watching educative and inspirational videos but you have not subscribed to this channel, you should also turn on the notification bell so that you will be informed whenever a new video is published in this channel. I hope to meet you again in another video in this channel. Thanks for watching.